that is obviously a problem. Coolio. I think we're live. Oh, we are. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. All right, let me edit that title really quickly. If it's going to show up. We are in the gut. Love group. Yeah, there we are. Okay, cool. Let me edit it. Okay, good. That is um, edited, so now they can see it, and we are live in both locations. All right, cool. Hello, everybody on the Tiki Talk and on Facebook in the Gut Love with Kylene group. Welcome to this live. For those of you who are on um, TikTok, my business partner Sophie is also on here with me, but you can't see her. Um, but I'll probably be doing most of the talking. But if you hear her, that's who. Yeah. You're <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, we are talking about having a healthy body and healthy mind for summer. And, you know, we know it is almost May. We're like two days away from May. So we know what y'all are thinking. You are 100% getting into, oh, no, I have to eat less carbs and I have to exercise more because in two months I'm going on a beach vacation and I have to wear a bikini. <laughs> We, we do it every year. We know you do it every time, right? Yep. I know you're thinking it. So we're going to talk about today what you can do instead because we think that's garbage. And we're not saying this from a judgmental place because we've all been there. And um, what we are sharing is that this fails because raise your hand if you're watching the video. Um, how long has this worked for you in the past? Or how well has this worked for you in the past? The whole... Um, Eating less, cutting less carbs, cutting carbs, eating, eating less, less, exercising more for that bikini vacation. How? First of all, comment below. How good did that make you feel? Did you feel great? Did you feel emotionally stable? Were you did living your best summer life? Were you living your best summer life? Did you have so much energy? My guess, because I've done this and I know that it's the truth, is that um, you do this, you lose a little bit of weight. You um, get really cranky with your significant other, whoever you live with, um, because you don't have enough fat and you don't have enough carbs. Uh, and you feel super hot in that bikini, but then you binge on a lot of food. And one month later or whenever it is later in the year, you're the same weight or probably a little bit more because you went on this binge cycle and uh, you weren't able to long term maintain any weight loss. So what we want you to be able to do is actually shift this mindset. So that you have a healthy mind and a healthy body. And yeah, we're focusing on summer because we know that's what's on your mind. But in reality, we want you to have a healthy mind and a healthy body all year round. We don't want to have this like 10 to 15 pound weight fluctuation in the winter um, when we get into hibernation mode, which just means we're wearing clothes that cover us up and so we don't feel as insecure, right? And so we eat all the Oreos. So we don't want you to have to go into hiber hibernation mode in the winter. We want you to feel energized and happy and positive about your body all year long. So we're going to talk about that. Without having to diet. Without having to diet. That is, that's the key. It's the key. Oh, and it's possible. It it's possible. So let's talk about how. Yeah, it is possible. I'm so tired of like the whole concept of, it makes me so mad. Like the concept that there are these diets that women go on all the time or cleanses or whatever you want to call them, where eight almonds is a serving of nuts for the day. My head explodes. Fish, please. <laughs> I can't even. I'm like, next. Okay. All right. So let's define terms. First of all, what are we talking about when we say healthy body? Because here's the reality, people, friends. Ladies and gentlemen, primarily women, because that's who follows us. Um, that does what we're saying is not that you have to be a certain weight. Okay, so let's define what a healthy body is. A healthy body is one that has lots of energy. Mm -hmm. And that means, and we talked about this in another video, uh, I think it was our last video in the gut hormone group, we talked about. Uh, energy saboteurs and how your body should be running on natural 
energy production, not depending on external stimulants constantly like caffeine and all these different things. So a healthy body should have natural levels of energy. A healthy body should be getting wonderful sleep. You are able to shut it down and calm down at night and crash and not wake up 10 times and all these different things. Welcome everybody, by the way, if you're watching, drop a comment below so that we can see who's here live. We would like to say hello to you. Hello, hello. You talk to people, sometimes they can't read your handles when they're like a bajillion numbers. So hello to all of you who are watching and thanks for joining. So good energy, good sleep. We're talking about what actually means a healthy body. Um, strong and capable, strong and capable, okay? When we are sick or when we are in a healing journey, sometimes we are very fatigued or we're very weak. And again, we're not talking about a specific weight here because everybody is shaped a little bit differently and everybody's genetics are a little different. But we want your body to work for you. And, and most importantly, we want you to feel comfortable in your body. I just did a video I think it was yesterday, maybe it was the day before that, um, about how this woman on TikTok is glorifying, not glorifying, normalizing her daily bloat after she eats food. And I'm like, this is not normal. It's not comfortable either. She was like six months pregnant, like after meals. That is not normal. It's not healthy. And so a healthy body is one in which you feel comfortable in. You don't feel like you have to change pant sizes every three hours or by the end of the day. You don't feel constipated and bloated and uncomfortable. You feel like it's your body and you feel normal in it. And you feel healthy and feel like it can get you through the day, okay? So that's what we're talking about when we talk about wanting a healthy body for you. And think, you know, I think a lot of um, people that come to work with us either in our Empower Her program or just, in our gut hormone Facebook group or like things we hear so much is that you like don't feel confident and comfortable in your body. And gosh, I know what that feels like. I know Kyleen does too. Like we've, we've been there. Um, and like we tried, you know, the fad diets and all those things. And that never really actually worked. It actually just made us feel worse because you then when you, what then when it fails, cause it inevitably will, because it always fails. It, cause it's not your, cause, cause human bodies, female bodies need carbohydrates and fat and protein to survive. So when it fails, not when you fail, but when the fad diet fails, you feel like a failure. And that's like, well, let's just say, let's just say this really quickly. The definition of sanity is doing the same thing over and over expecting a different outcome. So drop a comment below if, uh, if you have done a diet more than one time. <laughs> Yeah. I think I just read an article that says that, you know, on average, most, most people will do like four to five diets in their lifetime, but American women specifically will do seven. Yeah. Um, oh, and I, and they don't work. Remember. I guarantee you that's a little, what they're, what that statistic is probably saying is seven different kinds of diets. Like I'm going to try Atkins. I'm going to try whole 30. I'm going to try, I mean, versus like they, Not the number of times they've done it. The right. Different the type. Done it. Yeah. Right. So how many times have you actually dieted? Well, I'm sorry, but if it worked, you wouldn't have to do it over and over and over again. So that's what Sophie and I want to help you break through this concept of dieting in order to have a strong, healthy body that you're comfortable in for the summer. Also, we want to address a healthy mind uh, because, well, I mean, I think as women, we all struggle with this a little bit, right? Especially as we come into summer, but we want you to feel good about yourself and a healthy mind you know means that you have balanced moods and, and we talk a lot about um how you know the gut and the brain are connected and all these different things so we're gonna talk about that in a second but a healthy mind we want balanced moods we want uh there to be motivation we, we work with a lot of women who come and say when they start working with us they're lacking motivation they're feeling down they're feeling bad Mm -hmm. um, but we want to make sure that the mind is supported. And then we uh, also want to make sure that your mindset is one in which you're willing to prioritize yourself. And, and we see a lot of women struggle with that concept of prioritizing themselves. And um, by the way, a lot right now, actually, right? I mean, yeah. and, and by dieting and restricting is not prioritizing yourself, it's punishing yourself. Yeah. And so we see like, so I'll, I'll just give you an example of something I saw this week. So 
um, we have we have a free Facebook group and we really like, try to like get involved. So we've been reaching out to like as many people as we can this week to see what they would like to hear from us about, like how can we support them best in their health and getting into really interesting conversations that we've had a lot, right? And one of the conversations that I had this week was a woman who said she's been dealing with painful periods. Um, what's that? I'm showing them you. Oh, <laughs> hi guys. Um, hi, TikTok fam. Um, so one of the things that was really interesting was this woman said she had really painful periods and her moods were like all over the place and she'd like snap on her husband all the time and that like her fatigue was really bad and her bloating would like keep her from going out. And we hear that like compilation of symptoms pretty often when we talk to people um, about their health. And she had said she'd been trying to do her own thing for like three plus years and she like was you know, just gonna keep trying to do her own thing. And I said, how, how do you think you're gonna feel in three months like doing your own thing? And she said, I'm probably gonna be in the same spot. And so then I'm like, well, hey, look, like you're in this free group. Like we literally ask all the time, how can we help? And then we're, you know, but then there's a disconnect with her like taking a step to prioritize it. Like by yes. showing up for our workshops or being, you know, being on these live calls and getting live coaching or even joining Empower Her and jumping into a group program where you can like change it. And what I said to her is like, look, you could be in completely the same space, like, you know, snapping on your husband, gaining weight, bloating out, feeling fatigued, having painful periods. You could be in that same place in three months or you could let us support you and transform your entire health. So yeah. sometimes like putting yourself first means like knowing that there's this thing that you've been wanting to deal with for a long time that you've been putting off and like finally jumping in and taking care of it. Because like, where do you want to be in July? Like that's three months from now. Getting guidance because if you're doing the same thing over and over, you're not getting results. Get the guidance, get the coaches, get the program, get the recommendations, get the testing, get the lab because that's the only way this, I, uh, I think it was like a comment in one of my videos or whatever, but basically I was like, we always say test on guess because this is how our clients get results after 90 days when they have been struggling for years. Yeah. It's like, so, and like, we're all for giving out, like, look, we give out a ton of free information about how you can support your body. Right. Like, cause we know that there's a lot of things you can do. <laughs> We, and we know that there's a lot of things you can do on your own, but sometimes like we, you have to take it to the next level and you have to be really brutally honest with yourself about taking that next leap and why anything might've been stopping you. Right. So if you've been doing the same thing over and over again, every year after year doing diets and cutting carbs and restricting, and you feel like crap about yourself, then that might not be the way for a healthy mind, and it's not a healthy mind that's leading to a healthy body. Hi, Julie. Hi, Misty. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah, no, I think that's absolutely. I think if you're not willing to prioritize yourself, and I think a lot of women struggle with that. A lot of women struggle with that, especially if they have families, because their attention goes to the family. And um, the women that we see have so many results when they work with us are the women that are like, you know what? Screw this. It's time for me to pay attention to myself, and I'm going to do this because. I know that it makes me a better mom, a better wife, a better human being, a better person to show up to work and life in general. If I have the energy and I'm spending, let me give you guys a, a quick example really quickly. Um, I, the past, this 2021 has been hard. It's just been hard. Um, and the other day I had this moment where I did something that just brought me extreme joy, extreme joy. It made me so happy. And it was like this light. And so we have to think about filling our own cup because then that trickles into the rest of our life and all of our interactions with every other human being that we care about, that you're saying you're prioritizing over mm -hmm. yourself. They care about you as well. And if you would do something for your pet or you would do something for your child and you're not willing to do it for yourself, we need to work on that mindset. Okay. Were you gonna I, say I have I have something to add to this. So I, Dr. Marisa is like a seven time um, best selling author. She was on my podcast, the She Talks Health podcast last year, and she said something so profound that I'll never forget. And it, I just thought it was amazing. And it was this idea. She said the self, the most selfish I've ever been is when I wasn't prioritizing myself because. Yeah. That's good. She said it made me a, a not as good, not as present a partner to my husband. 
It made me not be able to prioritize my kids yeah. and it made me not perform well at my job. And, and that was selfish of me, but now I know that I have to put myself first yeah. in order to be selfless, which I thought was like really amazing. So hopefully That's that makes sense and, and like lands for people. Neptera 62, how to join on Saturday. The link is in my profile. If you can't click it for some reason, it's sophieandkyleen.com slash workshop. Um, we would love to have you. Okay, so let's talk about, we just defined a healthy body and a healthy mind. And so let's talk about what all of, what is, what is connected or what all, what, how am I trying to this? What are all of these things connected to, or what impacts all of these things that we just talked about? Good energy, good sleep, strong and capable body, comfortable in your clothes, no bloating, no constipation, beneficial or happy, positive moods, um, motivation to get things done throughout the day. Um, you know, all these sorts of things. What, Sophie, what, what connects all these things? What impacts all of these things? What, what, is the one thing the one thing to start with is food right? because it food impacts every area food impacts everything and so we're like really big like we got guys we have two businesses okay <laughs> we're busy <laughs> two businesses we have families like a lot going on and so we're like let's figure out what is the thing that is like going to help me move and leverage all of these symptoms so I can get on with more important things in my life, right? Like loving up on my partner or enjoying <laughs> whatever I enjoy. So food is like the first step and we're big believers in laying down the foundation. Um, food is information for the body. Food is energy for the body. Food can help to alleviate your bloating, your fatigue, your painful cycles, your missing cycles. I mean, your like everything. Literally so everything. We do gonna, start with what do we fuel our body with? Yeah, and we're gonna break that down on Saturday, um, because like like Sophie just said, you know, if you go through the definition of what we defined as like a healthy body, good energy. Well, what helps with good energy? Good, the food that we eat. <laughs> it impacts our energy. What helps with good sleep? Well, regulating our circadian rhythms and our natural cycles. And all that. Food. Um, what helps our bodies be strong and capable? Food. What helps us feel comfortable in clothes because we're pooping regularly, we're not constipated, we don't have diarrhea, we're not bloating. Food. Food impacts all these areas. Now, we've mentioned this multiple times, and if you followed us for a long period of time, you also know that it's not the end all be all. If you have struggled for years, perhaps decades, um, there may be other things going on where we do have to do the testing and we do have to jump in with other things, but it doesn't matter what level you're at. Food is always the foundation. It's always step one. It's going to carry you through the entire journey. Um, and we, what we want to know then is what foods are hurting this process and what foods are helping this process. Um, and so that is what we're really going to talk about on Saturday is we're going to go into, you know, how does the food impact your microbiome? Because when you wonder, when you think, well, how does food have such an impact on my body um, and my mental health? And that is because it impacts the microbiome, those bugs in your, in your gut. And those bugs produce all of these metabolites and all of these um, bug poops that uh, they're either good or bad. And you have a major, major, major control over what that balance is in your gut based on the food that we eat. And we're going to talk, we're going to break that down and talk about that process. And then we're going to talk about the foods that feed the beneficial bacteria, as well as foods that are generally inflammatory, trigger the immune system and feed bad bacteria leading to all of these other symptoms that, you know, people come to us with the bloating, the acid reflux, the horrible PMS, the brain fog, the fatigue, the mood swings, all of these different things that we're talking about. So what we really, really, really want to say uh, when it comes to having a healthy mind, having a healthy body, feeling comfortable in your skin and in that bikini this summer, I mean, <laughs> drop a comment if you'd feel much more Come from that bikini if you had energy and you were not bloated. But I'm not even talking about losing weight. Yeah, I'm not even talking about losing weight. Just like not being bloated, right? That would make you feel so much more comfortable in that bikini. 
So that's the thing. We really want to empower you to understand your bodies. We want to empower you to understand the choices that you're making because food is like the one choice that we can all have control over and we can all make different choices there. And it's a really powerful foundation. So Saturday, that's what we're talking about. It's going to be super cool. Sophie is going to specifically talk about um, what foods, like how they impact your hormones and then how to kind of break it down and support your hormones through the foods that we eat. So, I mean, the impact that food has, I, it's, it's amazing to me. I was watching this video the other day and this lady was just like comparing, um, bad ice cream with bad ice cream. And she was comparing the macro content and the calorie content. And I was like, this is, this is the wrong, this is, this is the wrong view of health. This is not health. We need to be looking at the information that we're giving ourselves because this is what makes us feel happy chemically with our brain chemicals. It's what makes us feel confident in the skin because we are not bloated. We are pooping. We all, you know, all these different things we just talked about. The information that we give through food communicates to your cells, sends all these signals, and that's what we're going to talk about on Saturday. So, that will help you feel super hot this summer. I know it if you show up and take some action. That's the other part of it. The second half, we're, we're talking about really taking action. And so the other thing that we hear about, and, and you mentioned a little bit a minute ago, is this, um, you know, you feel stuck. So if you're feeling stuck, if you've done the same diet 20 different times, if you've been on the hamster wheel, or you just emotionally feel stuck, like, oh, I know what I do, but I can't do it, show up on Saturday. Because we are going to help with the mindset piece of it, and we're really going to dig deep if you're willing to go there, um, and I hope you will be. But then also, we will provide the opportunity and the information of what it looks like to work with us if you're somebody that is ready for that, because um, we really do understand and and we all need this human beings are are beings of community we all need support and accountability and a community um and so sometimes you know it's like people do better if they hire a, a workout trainer twice a week because they're just not at the point mentally emotionally where they're ready to commit to that themselves without that accountability right and then they do that for two three four five six months and they're like okay i've got this I can do this myself. I have my own habits. I feel good. This has helped my physiology change to the point where like now I'm, yeah, I know what to do and I just don't know what to do. I feel like I can do it, right? So we want to be that catalyst for you, whether it's through the workshop or whether it's through working with us one-on-one, -on -one. but we're going to start with the workshop. You can see if you like the information we have to share. You can see if it's stuff you've already done or stuff that you need help with or stuff maybe men mentality-wise that we can kind of encourage you with. We might even have some time uh, to do some spot coaching um, and answer some questions at the end. So we're really excited about that. It's Saturday at 11.30 a.m. Uh, and so we hope you'll join us for the Gut Hormone Food Workshop. Had to think about that for a second. <laughs> it's going to be really fun. And that so the link is in all our profiles everywhere, but it is sophieandkyleen.com forward slash workshop. And then, Sophie, I know you wanted to talk about the podcast really quickly. Sophie hosts a podcast called She Talks Health. And so if anywhere you have podcasts, iTunes, whatever, um, she talks health and we did a podcast together. What did we talk about? It was a while ago. We talked about a lot and it came out today. Um, and I thought it would be like a really good resource for people who are listening to this conversation because one of the things we talked about, well, first we, we talked about what what the heck is gut health? Like, so we talked about the two parts of gut health that Kylene defines as the most important um, and what those mean. And then we talked about the connection between how our gut impacts our hormones, specifically how our poop <laughs> and our constipation will impact our estrogen. And what that means, like for practic practicality, you guys, is if you're dealing with PMS, you're snapping on your partner or colleagues at work, you're your boobs are huge and sore, you have brain fog and fatigue, um, you have painful cycles or really heavy cycles, that's usually an imbalance where there's too much estrogen and your digestion has a huge impact on that. So we go like way deep into that and talk about how we can support it. But we're gonna talk about that even more again this Saturday at the workshop. Um, but it's just a really, I thought Kylene did a great job. Talks as well. 
Yes. Yep. Um, I think Kylene just did a really good job of talking through that. And just like, there's a lot of really good, like jewels in that podcast from, cause we kind of just have these conversations. So if you're liking this conversation, you'll probably like that one, but we go a little bit more into the science and give some helpful tips. Um, so if you guys are, um, if you guys do like to consume content through podcasts, you can like literally go through whatever your podcast, um, like viewing like your favorite iTunes or Spotify and you can just type in she talks health and the recent podcast will be how poop influences your estrogen how poop influences your estrogen at she talks health will you yeah. have this on tape I have an appointment on Saturday yes uh, for people that register for the workshop uh, it will be recorded and sent out so if you are registered and cannot make it live we will send that recording out to those that registered uh, we do not currently have a you know replay date or a second um, workshop scheduled. So if you do want to check it out, make sure you register. You'll get all of that information, um, and you can watch it uh, whenever you know Saturday night or Sunday or whatever. Um, and then so workshop Saturday, eleven thirty Eastern Standard, uh, SophieandKylie.com forward slash workshop, and then. Uh, her podcast, which is how gut influences estrogen or how poop influences estrogen <laughs> levels, same thing, uh, is at She Talks Health. How can I register? Yep, that website. Great. Glad, glad you got that there. The link is on my profile. So if you just want to click it. And also, if you guys do come live on Saturday, just so you know, there is going to be an opportunity to work with myself or Kylene one-on-one -on -one, um, as a bonus, um, but it's only going to be available for the first 10 people. So um, come live so you can get some one-on-one -on -one support. Yes. So major, major bonus that we're dropping on Saturday is an opportunity for some extra one-on-one -on -one time. So if you've kind of been curious about that, make sure you join the workshop and register. All right, everyone. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Sophie. Uh, we will talk to you soon. Drop your comments, questions, concerns below, and we will make sure to address them. For those of you on TikTok, uh, this and lots of other informational videos are over on our Facebook pages, so check those out. Um, Gut Love with Kylene and Gut Hormone Connection. All right, we will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good Wednesday. See you Saturday. See you Saturday. All right, TikTok, thanks for joining.